Uh, now it's time to make one long slide to the benediction. I'd like to call up Herschel Chandler for ACT IAC, uh, Ann Eberts for AGA, and Mike Starr for Workiva for very fast closing thoughts. Uh, come on up, folks. Those of you who uh, I saw some applause begin. Not quite. Hold your applause till the very end. We'll just get this through. Those of you who run events know that uh, they are expensive and time consuming. Uh, this particular one cost six figures and countless nights and weekends of extra work. Uh, you already know uh, where the money came from and we thank our sponsors. We thank them for their involvement and for believing in this cause. You should also know that the blood, sweat, toil, and tears came primarily from three people. It came from our development di director, Nick Jeffress, our policy associate, Justin Duncan, and most of all, from our event director, Sarah Joy Hayes. So please join me in thanking them. <laughs> and now to send us off, uh, first, ACT IAC, then AGA, and finally, Workiva. Thanks, Hudson. So uh, Dan had to step out for a personal uh, obligation. He asked me to step in. So I don't have a long agenda. Uh, this has been a, a really full day, a really exciting day. And I, I think uh, my greatest takeaway is they're continuing the theme of small steps forward, a step at a time, making progress, iterative releases. Uh, everything I heard today, uh, if you follow the law since about a year ago or prior to that, is a step in the right direction in culture change. Uh, getting the data standards out, talking about the exchanges, the interactive sessions we had this afternoon. Uh, so my, my really closing thought is I'm really glad to see the progress forward. As a self-professed data geek, I really can't wait to see this come out. Uh, wearing my, my ACT IAC hat, as Dan mentioned, uh, I am a co-lead of our Data Act effort. We uh, have five papers uh, that we have published on our website. If you didn't get the information outside, see me, I'll give you the link. Uh, and we're actually opening up our membership to non-members, so if you guys want to get involved in uh, uh, more hands-on implementation ideas, uh, grab a hold of me or Casey McClark, uh, the project co-lead. Uh, we got to invite you uh, to participate in that. We've got our next round of papers coming. Right now we have papers on uh, uh, the benefits case, the implementation plans, data quality, uh, technical implementation, data lakes, all that cool stuff for you fellow data people. Uh, as well as a very interesting paper on unique identifiers and the LEI that will be out very soon. No controversy. <laughs> oh, was, oh, God. So anyway, uh, I want to thank Hudson Hollister very much, because as a, as a data geek, today has been awesome. So thank you, Hudson and Data Transparency Coalition. Thank you, everyone, for coming. So I know that we stand between you and probably traffic on the way home, but I want to uh, second what Herschel had to say. It's, uh, it's been a great day, learned a lot. Um, and. For some of us, hopefully it's reinforcing information that you knew already, but you also got to have some time with the sponsors here and learn about some innovative um, methods and, and tools and techniques that they're pulling together. A couple takeaways that I had today, um, really from several of our speakers, it takes uh, tone from the top, leadership to, to pave the way, certainly a culture change in releasing data, working across whether it's uh, organizational boundaries within your agency with federal, state, and local folks. It's going to be, you know, it's, it's all about data sharing, uh, being open. I like that better than transparency. It takes up more space in a, or less space in a sentence. But, um, <laughs> but I think that's the way to go. Um, so the other thing, or other two things, is uh, Ralph Nader talked about trust. And I think we have to make sure that there's data quality so that the, not only our colleagues leveraging the data have trust in the data, but also that the general public has trust in what we're sharing with them. And then a final thought that uh, Senator Warner bro brought up was uh, the Data Act is the first step. So we will all be kidding ourselves if we don't think that there's a lot more to come. Um, in following up with, with the initial requirements of the Data Act and, and moving forward. And I too thank Hudson for inviting us to be a part of his group and uh, it's been a great day. You know, when, when Hudson called me and said that he'd signed up Ralph Nader and Grover Norquist to, to end this event, I thought that's terrific because I knew that we would be looking at a larger audience 
than we would have otherwise had because people would stay just to see them. But what I didn't realize, and, so, and I think this is the genius of Hudson, by the way, what I didn't realize is that they would really provide the overarching theme for this effort. We have the technology. There's no question about it. Uh, we, can, we can make this transition from unsearchable documents to searchable data. That's not the hard part. The hard part is the people. People don't like change. And I look at this group and I listen to them, two people who come from opposite points of view, and whether they uh, like to admit it or not, have one area in common, actually probably two. One is they love our country, and two is, and I like open government better than transparency, two is they, they believe <laughs> in open government. Um, and I look at you, and you're the ones who are going to make this happen. Because it's not about the technology, it's not about the standard, it's about the people. So I thank you for your participation today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something. And I hope you leave here and go out and provide the leadership that we'll need to make this happen. And I want to end by thanking Hudson and Sarah Joy and Nick and Justin for putting on a great conference. Thank you all. I need to make one shameless plug. Um, July 12th through the 15th, AGA has our National um, Professional Development Training event. It's a three-day event in Nashville. We have three sessions, at least three sessions, on the Data Act covering all aspects of it. Some of the leaders you heard here, but then others that um, are implementing the Data Act. So hopefully you'll, you'll join us in Nashville. May the force be with you. <laughs>